Hello there, blessed people of uh, of YouTube. We you follow my uh, my uh, my small page. And mainly, I put uh, block videos and uh, <coughs> uh, my readings from uh, my uh, the order that I'm joined with the Klingus half from. Uh, you know, my, the religious order I'm part of, the heathen religious order that I'm part of, the layod. But uh, today I've come on to do a short video. Uh, it's just something that crossed my mind, really. As a heathen where it has disabilities, <coughs> uh, because I'm not along at a, a uh, glass of milk, <laughs> but as a heathen with disabilities, Something really crossed my mind, so I was just talking to one of my close friends on uh, the uh, modern device known as the PlayStation 4. On the social chats uh, element it has, the party they call it. And uh, coming to the end of our friendly discussion in the party, to, you know, three of my best friends were in this party. My well, one friend happened to mention that uh, on sorry, that's my tracks on uh, TikTok. There's a uh, a uh, a TikToker that's doing the app TikTok. There's a guy doing quite well for himself. He's got uh, quite severe autism apparently. And his knowledge is like like me gaining knowledge on this path. The Anglo-Saxon slash Germanic slash Norse etc. Norse etc. His knowledge is very much like this, but on uh, international football, soccer, whatever you call it, in your in your uh, land, we call it uh, you know FA football. His knowledge is incredible. He's like <laughs> Mimmer mim on the subject of football. That was amazing knowledge. Knows it inside and out. He's had t season ticket offerings from clubs because his knowledge is just that great. And people, a lot, some look to him to knowledge because he's, he's a, like I say, severely autistic. But the, anyway, cut a long story short. The thing I'm getting at is. Uh, I was told this guy on TikTok gets a lot of uh, gets a lot of uh, he, he gets a lot of uh, trolls, people trolling and uh, belittling him. Uh, and I just wanted to go on. It's a very negative element for the people that are attacking him to uh, to have because this is his path. This is what he wakes up every day, like more heathen path that keeps him going. I'm trying to think of the YouTuber's name now. It's uh, it's Cow uh, Cow Dragon or something. His name is. My friend was just telling me about him. And uh, so these people attacking, trolling him, just being generally just vile to him, really. And by the, and by the way, I want to uh, before I carry on, I want to apologise for my. Uh, Selection of apparel of uh, didn't think to uh, put more of a heathen dress code on. I'm actually sat here in my jammers. I'm a modern. I live in the modern day. I'm not gonna lie. I live in the modern day, and I'm a modern practicing Anglo-Saxon heathen in Angoland, in the UK. But anyway, back to the subject. This uh, this poor kid. Uh, his knowledge is fantastic, and even many football clubs have recognised him. Which, when people, when I heard he's getting bullied by all these viewers, it's it's, it's the negative element of jealousy, because the clubs have recognised this amazing kid. that's, you know, it's took an interest in their career, and it's pretty much made it part of his life. And it's what I'm getting at is if you are dedicated. To something that you treasure in your path, like me with my Anglo Saxon heathenry. Uh, uh, you know, my, my, uh, my path for me is a big one. Uh, it's probably my main thing. 
for uh, this uh, this cow dragon, whatever his name is. It's football, and its message goes out to you, buddy. Don't let them get you down, because this is your path, and there are people that want to spread darkness and uh, you know anxiety and fear into putting an obstacle there to try and destroy that. And you mustn't let. And uh, to anyone else that watches this, you mustn't let people. Uh, you mustn't let people put these obstacles in your path. You know, and uh, try to belittle you and make you feel small in what you do. I'm very proud of my Anglo-Saxon path. A few videos I've done through Yola and just before. And he's very proud of his, you know, his knowledge, not just on the English Premier League, or the UK Premier League, I guess we have to call it now. But uh, the uh, or international football in general, the Spanish League, French League, etc. He knows in it inside and out from what I've heard. And uh, yeah, I'll just, I'm just egging him, I'm making him on basically, and anyone else with a hobby that people have been the little boy to just continue and if you have a hobby or if you have a culture or tradition or religion whatever that you are so strong with and I want you guys to continue with that and not let them belittle you because uh, it's uh, it's very it's very important and there are some what we call in our faith we call the mutton guard which is negative energy uh inspired by the uh the uh the not so nice realms uh we call it mutton guard energy it's not the negative energy and you mustn't let mutton guard energy stop you from fulfilling your dream it's my dream is I want to live this path and make some, you know, and if I ever get the chance, I will, uh, I would extend my knowledge to anyone who wants it. I would make a life out of it. That's my dream. If anyone said what was your dream job, I would actually say working in a heathen shop. Where I could expand my knowledge with people. Or a uh, medieval museum. Before 1066, before the Norman age. So, because I can work with the Celts as well, although I'm, I'm Anglo-Saxon, as well as the Norse. I can work with uh, the European, heathen, more like cultures, mainly across uh, Albion, Britain, England. I can do Ireland and Scotland as well, well Scotland's part of Albion. I can do Eru as well, Ireland. I can do the Isle of Man and I can do... You know, Celtic Gaul, and I can do medieval Germania. And this is all stuff I've learned in my path as an Anglo Saxon heathen this far. And don't let people basically poop on your tradition, faith, and culture. Uh, I'll go live on Facebook, and I'll probably do. A uh, screen recording of the block so I can put it here on YouTube. This is going on there as well, as probably as well as my Facebook. And uh, yeah, but the message I'm getting across to you is don't let what is commonly known as jealousy, if you have a disability or if you just have something that's special to you that people are trying to criticize you for, it's mainly jealousy because they can't do it. And they get even more jealous when they know you've got a disability. I've got Tourette's and autism myself, as you might tell through bits of the video. Uh, don't let people uh, stop you with their with their wits. Their it's child's knowledge and jealousy, and it's almost one of the many elements of Luca Loki known as Loki or Lock because it's it's just so silly. It's it's a very harsh bad element and they wish to have that knowledge so because they know they can't get that or they can't be bothered to try and start learning that 
I then go into attack mode and I criticise you for your, uh, you know, the negative things throughout your path and your life and physical things, sometimes like disabilities, physical things that can't be controlled because they don't also understand that. And they call they put it down to what well when I say weird I mean the weird sisters the known as the three norns. When they say weird they mean it in a horrible modern uh stupid phrase. They mean they mean it in a horrible modern tongue as an insult. It's used for an insult in modern English. Instead of describing the weird sisters. And uh uh, a lot of people were saying to apparently to this kid on TikTok from what my friend said that he's weird because he's got autism and he's just too up front with the football that's not, he's just learned and lived and breathed it all of his life look how my heathen and look whatever you guys do whoever watches this you guys do, everybody has a purpose in life and uh, what you don't need is Hudson Guard energy trying to destroy or take that away from you and if there's an Anglo-Saxon or even as a Norseman, a Viking or a Celt, whatever you are, or a modern human being of society, we have a saying in Anglo-Saxon and you've got to stand steadfast which means stand your ground and not let them beat you in this battle of wits. Uh, Funnor and Woden never let Luca uh, beat them in the Battle of Wits in, the, in uh, Wadders Hall in Wadham under the sea. Known as Aegir in the realm of Aegir. The sea god Wado Aegir Aegir in the uh, realm of Wadham, also known in Norse, is also Aegir. And now we're visiting Wadder and his sea servants. Loki stormed in and started getting all cocky with wits. It's a story. He, uh, he was actually quite harsh to the gods until Funnel stormed in and threatened to kick his head in if he didn't if he didn't button up. So uh, Funnel did give it back to him as well. And uh, we need to be like Funnel, known as Thor in modern tongue. And we need to not let them destroy what we are working for in our path. I was actually disgusted when I heard that this, uh, this autistic lad, uh, uh, I think it's cow or owl, something dragon, was attacked on his, he gets a lot of attacks on his football video, but I'm really pleased to see it's not stopping him, and that the f big football, uh, you know, clubs are following him and giving him tickets to games, this is really good, uh, and uh, it can show if you, if you truly are with something, whatever you believe in, or uh, the elements of it will somehow reach out to you in a way you will know when uh, when the time comes. So, Wasu uh, Hal, Skull, and wild, huge well done and credit from me to uh, Cal Dragon, the football TikToker. Who his heart and passion is on that sport. It's like his religion. It's his path. And to a lot of people, football can be a religion or a path. It's for a lot of people, it's all they've got. We have few things in a lot of people's path, especially when you're working class or uh, or uh, poor, etc. You have the few things you can look to. For me, it's my path of Anglo-Saxon hedonism. For that lad, it's it's uh, international football. And uh, I'd love to have the knowledge on it that he had. I used to be a bigger football fan than what I am now. But uh, I wish I had the knowledge he had on it. He has on it. So, uh, yeah, that's all from me. Be kind to each other, guys. You know, be kind to each other. And uh, try and respect people's paths. And if you are going to give up some guard energy, then uh, just know... That one day foot and guard energy comes at you. That I hope you will remember uh, what you what you do to to destroy that, try and destroy that other person, people's path. I don't believe in uh, karma. <coughs> I don't believe in karma. Uh, that's a too modern word for me. 
I believe in justice for my uh, for my layout patron deity too or Tia. My patron solo deity is Ingui Frey. But my uh, the like group deity that we worship with is a uh, two tier. And he's my god of justice. And uh, I believe I don't believe in karma, but I do believe in justice. Some will say it's the same thing. I just think um I don't believe in karma. It's too modern. I believe in justice. And if you're going to give up on guard energy, then you too is going to give you justice. Don't know when, but surely the time will come if you live a long enough life to experience it, and it will come. So, all I'm going to say is carry on and try and destroy people's paths if you're one of them filthy up and guard energies that's going to wear uh, people's life in misery. That's all from me. I'm your man, Rick Nicholas' son, son of Nicholas, your man, Rick. Also known as the Orman Rick Casterton from the massive uh, ancient background of Casterton. Well, sales skull, and thank you. See you later.